What's up beautiful boys and girls? It's Chris from Kite Artistry and welcome to today's video. Okay, so if you read the headline, you know why we're here. About a week or so ago, I got a message on Instagram from a very famous famous YouTuber that pretty much all of you should know, whose name is Laura Lee. And this is so hard. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> That's what I get for being like that karma, instant karma. Okay. Uh, for real though. Um, so yes, uh, we're going to jump right into today's video. Um, please slap a little like down below and leave a comment. Anything you want. As long as it's not hate, we appreciate. In my last video, I said as long as it is hate, we appreciate, which is makes no sense. So <laughs> shows you how much I pay attention. <laughs> All right. For the real reels though. Okay. This is not like a super dramatic, super crazy story. It's actually just something really cool, really sweet that I'm super excited about. Um, so yes, a few weeks ago or like not that long ago, um, Laura Lee reached out to me on Instagram and I was just like, L L Laura Lee, Laura Lee, Los Angeles is Instagramming me like I know but who am I she's like mm -hmm. and I'm mm -hmm. I am literally like nobody so um basically uh if you follow her or any of her most recent videos she did this huge cleaning out her you know over millions of dollars worth of makeup beauty room situation crazy like four part or something like that video series it was really interesting to watch and it was really good for my OCD <laughs> like it was like literal Oh, for my soul, you know what I mean? Like ASMR for my soul. I think I actually said that in the comment too because I was just like, oh, this does so much for my cleaning compulsivity. Like seriously. And anyway, that was really cool and whatever and gave me lots of inspiration ideas. But regardless, um, apparently um, she was doing a giveaway and I was giving away a lot of that stuff. Like, well, any like new untouched things to like, I think she said like seven people or something like that. I don't know. But apparently I'm one of those people and I was not expecting that whatsoever because she literally, she has millions and millions of followers, millions, millions, plural of followers. And I did get this message and I was like, oh my God, this is like, oh, is this as good as it gets? Should I just die now? Is my life complete? And I, <laughs> anyway, I was so shocked. So. She arrived. She arrived. I was like so excited. I gave her my address and you know, I was like, let's see if anything really comes in the mail. And well, she did. Here she is. I'm going to span across do, 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 so you can see kind of how big it is. Um, yeah, let's see. Just, you know, as a little bit proof, you know, this isn't her real address. This is obviously either her business address or a PO box. I'm going to cover my address, but just for a little bit of proof, please. Can you see that? Laura L. Lee, Los Angeles. So yeah, like, oh my God. I have no idea what she sent me. I mean, I watched the whole series and I was just like, oh my God, I want everything. And I'm sure, you know, nothing that she even put on camera is in this box, but I have been holding on to this, waiting to film this video, absolutely dying to open this. So I am just, should we just, you know, you're like, stop talking. Let's see what's in the box. Cause I don't even know the only thing I did, you know, I took, just took my handy dandy little knife, cut the sides. I'm going to cut the top right now. And we're going to go on this journey together. You guys, oh, there she is. Popped her cherry. I I'm like, even the fact that, you know, she touched this box. It's still surreal. Like she actually packed this box or maybe her assistant did it. I'm like, Oh God. I don't even want to look. Okay. I'm so nervous. I hope I like this stuff. I'm sure I will. It is free stuff from more Los Angeles. How dare I even think about complaining? Oh, how dare I? Okay. You guys, you guys get the first peek. What's it? Don't look at the monitor. Oh my God. Is it good? Is it good? Oh my God. <gasps> what? Shh. Oh my God. Like, there, wow. There is way more stuff in here than I... Shut, shut up, shut up. I'm sorry, the first thing I saw was 
Bobby Brown Vitamin Rich Vase Face. You have no idea. I got sent a sample size of this, and I like heard Jeff Star Raver about it all the time. It's his only primer, basically, he uses, and I tried it, and I was like, now I know why. I have to buy a full size, even though it's like a million dollars. And like, I get a full size from her. Like, this is, oh my god, she touched this. Can we just have a moment? Can we just have a moment for the first? Oh, Laura, thank you. I, oh my god, like, oh my god, like, just even that, I'm like, oh my god, it's like $80 at least, like, oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, Huda Beauty, I, oh my god, and I was just saying today, I was cleaning my brushes, like, I need more blending brushes, too. Oh my god, these are really pretty, too. The Naughty Blenders, these are the new ones, oh my god. I'm gonna sound like such a valley girl when I get, like, because I get really excited, and I'm like, oh my god, like, seriously? And that's how I talk, and it gets really nice. Okay, we have... Um, a Real Techniques brush, a complexion blender. Mm -hmm. You can never have enough brushes. I will say it once, I will say it again, and I will keep saying it. You can never have enough brushes. Like, oh my God. I just, I'm like, so already, I'm just like, oh my God. What is this big thing? Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treat. Oh, oh my God. Yes, girl. I have the Super Cleanser and the face wash and I love it and now I have the mask oh this is so exciting okay what's this Smashbox Cali contour Ooh, okay okay this is um contour bronzing blush highlight palette all in one oh that must be what our house smells like oh oh we have something else from Huda Beauty this is a wishful brush for the oh this is for their mask it's like a mask brush balm thing Okay, hey, Huda girl, you go on with yourself. All right, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Ooh, Sephora lashes. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm going to say this. Better. I'm so excited. I love these. These are so dramatic and beautiful. Thank you. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Oh. Okay, what's this? Buxom, Buxom Plumping Lip Cream in White Russian. Oh, I don't know what this is, but we're going to open it and find out. Is this like lip color? Oh, 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 this must be like, like a plumping lipstick. It's not gloss. It looks like it has a color and it smells like cookies. It smells like cookies. I like it. Of course I do. Okay. What is this? Oh, okay. Flower Cosmetics. This is, I believe, a drugstore brand. Petal Play Shadow Quad. Those are pretty colors. Pretty. Very rosy tones. That's very cute. Very cute. Okay. Oh, Real Techniques Sponge. I put this with my brushes. You can never have enough sponges. What is this? Oh, another Flower Beauty medium brown. Oh, okay, perfect. Micro brow pencil. I've never tried Flower Beauty, so it looks like I have a couple things to try from Flower Beauty. Ardell Sensual Eyes. Okay, all right. Lots of mini quads in this. Lots of mini quads, apparently. Okay, what else do we have? What is this? Josie Moran whipped argan oil body butter with sunscreen oh okay Re uh, uh, apply liberally before sun exposure whenever skin feels dry or tight okay repeat every two hours after towel drying and it's got spf in it oh, i can get behind that okay i wonder what that smells like i'm very excited okay oh more brushes more brushes this is a big brush elf Sugar Rush four piece brush set. Oh, that is so pretty. It's like the mint thingy, but or maybe it's not, but it looks like it. I love that color. I love mint green. That's like my favorite color in the world. What is this? There's like something fabric in here. What is this? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I was like, what is this? It looks like a Lamaze belly band. Seriously. I think it's a, like a hair band. Like, okay, I'm definitely gonna use that. Keep it. My makeup and it's mint again. Win win. Okay, we got another flower color shift lip smoothie. Okay. Maybe should we do a whole face of flower beauty? Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Okay, I like it. There's like a, a good mix. It's a lot of drugstore brands in here. Okay. What is this? Dragon Beauty? Oh, Dragon Beauty. Two translucent setting powders, one in pink and one invisible. Why? I thought they were friends and she's sending me her stuff. 
the drama. No, I'm just kidding. She probably has like five million of these. I have never tried anything by Dragon Beauty ever. So that should be interesting. Oh my God, this is, I'm, this is like Christmas. This is like, I can't believe how much is in here. Ooh, Real Techniques, more brushes. She must have a million brushes because I literally, that's like what, four brush sets already in one box. I wonder if she did like themes, like mine was like the brush box. <laughs> Elf, oh, what is it? What is it? Okay, Elf Matte Putty Primer. Ooh, I've heard a lot of good things about this. I've been wanting to try it, so I guess here we go. I get a little sample. And then we have Elf Rider Dye Lip Balm in Cheeky Cherry. Nice, nice. Okay, what is this? Another Flower Cosmetics in Petal Play. Oh, that's a lot lighter. I'm kind of feeling these as highlight. These are all shimmery shades. I could use these as highlighters. Are these a highlighter? It says eyeshadow, but those would be bomb ass highlighters. Cover Girl. Cover Girl Truly Naked Dreamland. All right, I think mine was the brush and little eyeshadow palette box. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, what is this? Lawless Blush in Sakura. I need to open this because I was really hoping, oh, that is bright, but I love it. It's like anything slightly in the coral peach family is what I always go for for blush. I am not a big pinky person. I do have a lot of pink blushes, but I prefer corally peachy tones. That is perfect for me. Okay, what is this? Agave Coconut Healing Oil Body Lotion. Oh, okay, some body lotion. Nice, nice. There's only a couple more things in here, so let's see. Okay, Milani. This looks like a lipstick. It's in Bitten. I feel like this was in her video. Maybe. I like dark colors. Sweet. Okay. Red, what is this? The Lucky Lipstick and Lip, oh, Charlotte Tilbury. It's lipstick and lip, oh, I'm so glad. Like I was really, really hoping to get like one of her million trillion MAC lip pencils, but there's none in here. But it, it's a Charlotte Tilbury pencil in here. And I'm glad I got at least one lip liner. I'm like gonna put MAC out of business in a couple weeks and buy all their lip liners because I just need, I need to buff up my lip liners and I need to buff up my blush. Like, whoa, I have like none. Ooh, this is a really, this is a really pretty color. It's like a terracotta. This would actually be the perfect liner, I think, for like, the lipstick I'm wearing now, which is Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Nathan. Let's, should we swatch this? Why not? Ooh, that is super creamy. I really like that color. Mm-hmm. Yes, girl. Okay, that is really pretty. I'm assuming the... Oh, I always, you know when you get really nervous opening up lipstick, oh god, I'm always scared I'm gonna like, ooh, that, that's a lot darker than I thought, but that is really pretty, let's swatch that right next to, to ooh, it has a scent, do I want to swatch, no, that's just too pretty to swatch, I'm sorry, I swatched the lip liner, I gotta, I gotta stare at it for a while before I wear it, okay, and then we have two more things here, we have, oh, Charlotte Tilbury, Modern Matte Lasting Lipstick. Another lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. What color is this? <laughs> Does it say? They have really cool packaging. I like the sparkle. Charlotte Tilbury is really good. It's a little bit more natural stuff, but it's not going to tell me the shade name on the box. Okay. It says it right there on the light. I was about to say. Charlotte Tilbury, I need to speak to your manager. Super you. The one thing I don't like about this packaging, just personal preference, I love Charlotte Tilbury, like I said, is I like to know what the shade is on the outside of the box. Ooh, do the other one have sparkles? Look at the little diamonds on top. No. So I wonder if this is like how their regular lipstick looks or if it's a limited. Ooh. Now, that is a definite me shade. It's like a nude. Ooh, that one smells really Ooh, I'm really excited. I don't have any Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. And I just got two. <laughs> Winning at life. Okay, you guys, one more thing. One more thing. Okay, we have Elsie. This is seriously, I don't know what this is. This is bouquet. I'm guessing it's a lipstick. This is like the heaviest lipstick packaging I've ever seen. Oh, yes, honey. Look at that. Mm, that's me, mama, right there. Nude. Nude, nude, nude. Nude, beautiful. Caramel. Oh, I want to put that on my lips right now. 
That is so pretty. And that is everything. And I am just, right now, I am just blown away. I cannot believe that I got anything and from such a famous, wonderfully sweet, amazing YouTuber. Go check out our channel if you really don't know who she is. I'm sorry, I had to open one of these by Dragon Beauty. Okay. Nikita, I'm coming for you, girl. I'm going to be trying this out real soon. See how it goes. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm slightly annoyed by some of the stuff she does, but at the same time, she does not give a F. And that's really cute packaging. So you go on, girl. Let's lift, let's lift each other's up as women. Now bring them down. I am speechless right now. I am absolutely speechless. I cannot believe I got this stuff from her. I am honored. I am truly honored from somebody so amazing, so respected in the beauty community, somebody who is uh, seems to be, I don't know them, I don't know their life, I just see what's on TV or online, and they seem like a good person to me. Sorry, my hair has just got a life of its own right now. It's about to just fall right in my face. But, um, from, you know, for anybody in the beauty community, this is like, you know, I don't know, this, this, like, Lady, Lady Gaga, like, sending you her vocals personally, privately, like, from her own collection or something. I, that makes me really dramatic. I'm most excited about this. So excited. But I, I'm speechless, you guys. I cannot believe that she contacted me. And she wasn't just, like, um, a generated thing where, uh, hey, you know, what's your address? I'm sending stuff. Like, I was like... Oh my god, I love you. Like, I had a total fangirl moment. I know, it was super embarrassing. You know, you want to play it chill and be like, yeah, I, you know, what's up? What's up? And I was like, oh my god, I love you so much. <laughs> and she was so sweet, and she was like, oh my god, I love you too. And thank you so much. Like, she was so polite and so nice. And the fact that somebody like that can take the time to, like, even just a short message and a short conversation one of their fans, you know, it just really, I really respect that. And if I was ever in that position, which, you know, I hope to be someday, you know, they say don't ever give up on your dreams, but maybe someday I hope that I am like that too and always make time for my fans and just keep it real and stay a real last person, no matter what type of money you have. Because let's be honest, like a lot of people on YouTube, once they get that fame, it goes right to their head and they lose connection with their fan base. So I really appreciate somebody who hasn't, you know? So, um, thank you, Laura. You probably will never watch this. And I know you've had a rough year. And I'm so praying for you and your family with the loss of your mother to the COVID virus. And you've been in my thoughts and prayers and will continue to be. And keep staying strong. Keep doing what you love. And thank you so, 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 so much. And I guess, um, on a side note, this video is just about this box. I've been waiting to film this. I'm like, oh, don't touch it. Don't look, don't look, don't look. First impressions. So, but um, really quick before I get off of here, um, the giveaway that I was running is now closed. I have contacted both winners, but only one person has responded to me. The person who won the Fenty package has not responded to me. So if I do not hear from them by 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, I will be picking a new winner. So keep an eye out in your inbox tomorrow, whatever time zone you live in. I will be picking a new person. Hopefully they respond. I hope so. It's a really good giveaway. Um, and if you didn't win, you guys, we will be doing so much more because that's what I love. It's just giving back and you know we are blessed to get stuff and we want to give back to you guys and any way we can so um stay tuned for the next video and i will see you guys in the next one bye